Hi. The purpose of this video is to show you how to enter in uh, X and Y values that you might have gotten off of a graph or maybe just data that you've collected in order to do a linear regression on a TI-83 or TI-84 calculator. Uh, by the end of this you would then be able to get the slope and Y intercept of the line of best fit um, for that particular set of data. So I've got a whole bunch of numbers here that are actually from uh, a linear regr regression question that I do involving Coulomb's Law. In order to get these in, my X and Y values, first button that I'm going to hit is the Stat button right here. And it brings up a whole bunch of selections. Leaving it on the Edit menu, I choose 1 for Edit. And it gives you this thing about L1, L2, L3, and so on. The L1 colum column is what it will assume is the X values and the L2 column is the Y values. So as long as you're entering these things in as X and Y values, you should be okay. So I'm just gonna to have to spend a second here and start typing in the values. It's already highlighted in the first part there of L1. So I type in 16, my first value, hit enter, four, 1.78. After I'm entering in each number, all I'm doing is hitting the enter key to go down. If I made a mistake, I can always use the arrow buttons to go back up and fix a number. Uh, you can also do, you know, some limited calculations here. If you needed to do something like square all the values or inverse them or something, you could certainly type them in that way. Okay, so I've got all my X values in. Now, for the Y values, I specifically chose a set of data where I had a whole bunch of scientific notation. So I do have to enter those in, and I have to follow the regular rules for entering in scientific notation using second function EE in order to do it correctly. So I'm going to start typing in all my Y values now, and this will take me just a moment longer just because there are so many of them and so much longer than the other ones. And you can see it's entering them in times 10 to the 11 for me. It's showing them as the uh, E11. Don't worry if it cuts off some of the numbers a little bit because it will be using the numbers that you entered in. Got a whole bunch of them here to get in. One other thing I should mention while I'm doing this is that if you already had some numbers in here and you needed to clear them out, what you can do is just use the arrow keys to scroll up to the very top, and I mean very top where it's L1 and L2, and when you're on top of those, you just hit the clear button and it'll get rid of anything that you've typed into that column previously. That way you're ready to go for a brand new question if you need to. Okay, I've got all my numbers entered in now. So at this point, what I would want to do is hit the stat button again to go back into the stat screen. And now I want to actually calculate. So I use the arrow button to move over one spot into calculate. And if you look down the list, one of them is number four, linear regression in the form of AX, minus, uh, AX plus B. Um, that's the way most people usually want to see their um, linear uh, line of best fit. Um, the only difference here is that most people will write down the formulas y equals mx plus b. On these TI calculators, instead of putting in m for slope, it uses a for slope. But it's no big deal there. So you can either scroll down to it and hit enter, or just press the 4 button. It comes up with a screen saying that, hey, I'm going to do a linear regression for you, and it's blinking. You hit enter. You give the calculator a moment, and then it says, I did a linear regression for you, and you can see that it's showing that the um, value A, which in this case is the slope, 4.100, a whole bunch of decimal places there, times 10 to the 10, and that my y-intercept is negative 4.7777, a bunch of stuff there, 89 times 10 to the 09. So that basically gives me the uh, values for my line of best fit. Uh, if I needed to now, I could just set that up as a formula and then solve for other values like the x-intercept if I needed to um, by just setting y as zero. And uh, I'm good to go with any other uh, sorts of analysis that I might need to do.